Hello. I am the Pixel Pup and this is my Haven Roulette Guide. Now a lot of people really dislike this map and I don't think it's my favorite map because the number of unique isolations and laws is pretty small however it is still quite underrated. The current meta for most spins makes the game drag on for 9, 10, 11 minutes even and for 95% of spins, you shouldn't be in Haven for that long. I currently can say that I've routed the majority of the category extension routes for this map and I've played so many spins on it. It's pretty much embedded in my mind so I thought that I would share that with the community and at least attempt to try to raise support for this map. So let's get into it. First off, we have default start. Now this is useful for a really quick, 30 second isolation for Ludmilla. Great for suit live kills. Next, we have the resort gym start which is the start you'll probably be using in 75% of spins. Then we have the private villa pier starting location, for really awful spins where you have to do full server lure or spins in which you have to kill Tyson with a falling object or a mansion disguise. The resort pool area is good for the double seeker strat or getting the scuba diving instructor or a really quick lifeguard instructor. Now this video is going to go over a lot of possible isolations for Ludmilla, Steven, and Tyson. Some of them are franky, quite complicated so for ease of learning, the isolation section of this video has been split into two sections, the simple isolations and the more complicated isolations. You may be asking why you would ever want to do the more complicated isolations and that is that they're a lot faster and can shave 30 seconds to a couple minutes off your time, depending on the spin. But if you choose to learn the more complicated strategies or not, I promise you that even the simple strategies shown in this video will improve your Haven Roulette game by a whole lot. So the first two isolations I call Phone Lure and Double Seeker. Phone Lure is good if you need a live kill on Ludmilla or if the disguise you need to kill Ludmilla with is one that's close to the restaurant or mansion area. Double Seeker is good if you don't need a live kill on Ludmilla and if the disguise you need to kill Vetrova with is close to your personal hut. Both of these strategies just require a Seeker and a Silenced Pistol or SMG. Both of these strategies also can be done from Suit Start of Gym Start. Now why pick one over the other? Gym Start is like, 10 seconds faster and you get a free trainer disguise, which can be a pain otherwise to get. The main problem with starting gym start is you cannot bring two pistols with you so you have to smuggle your silenced pistol. If you have a spin that requires something like a loud SMG elimination, a sniper kill, or a silenced assault rifle kill, then you cannot spawn gym and instead you should start pool. I'm going to show these two strategies from gym start but know they can be done from either start. But what actually is phone lore? Phone lure is an around 20 second call with Ludmilla Vetrova that sends her over to the restaurant, where she sits forever. But to call her, you're going to need the note and this is how to get it. Spawn shark hut then glance at it over here. Now, in all future runs, you'll be able to call her at any of the many phones on the map. Check hit maps for a phone near you. A note from Ludmilla Vetrova. I wonder what she wants from you, 47. So now, how to actually do phone lure. Hide behind the punching bag, switch shoulders, then shoot Steven. Run down here then call Ludmilla. Miss Vitrova, it's Tobias Reaper. I read your note. Excellent. I reviewed your file prior to your arrival, and I found it very intriguing. I have an offer for you. If you're interested, you can find me over at the restaurant. You can okay. hang up after she finishes this line. This saves you 10 seconds of having to listen to this conversation, so feel blessed. Next, run into the staff area and get the staff key. I repeat, get the staff key and grab your smuggle. Then grab the fire extinguisher to KO Steven and his guard. Then run out and run into the spa. Use your instinct to check where the guard and the wandering waiter are. Once you've confirmed that it's safe to go, run through here then shoot this camera. Now in this video, 
I shoot behind the guard to turn him around, but you can easily screw that up without practice, so I recommend just shooting a shot to distract him then shooting the camera. Then run along here and vault over here. Shoot three shots at this ceiling right here to make these two guards run down here. Now you will see that there's a lot of waiting time here, because Tyson arrive in this room at the three minute mark, giving you plenty of time to go get other disguises. He exits the room at 4 minutes and 40 seconds, which is more than enough time to get whatever disguise you need for Tyson. Now to get into the room, there are two things you can do. You could either bring in a lock pick and shoot a distraction shot to turn the bodyguard around, or you could do what I am going to do here. Peekaboo Tyson's bodyguard over here, then holster your object and run over here. Then slip behind the bodyguard and into the room, KOing Tyson and dragging his body over here. The bodyguard should just then leave. Now go and grab the Haven Villa key just right on this table then open up this door, knocking out the guard. You have to drag him around here, otherwise his body will be found when you open the door. Take his disguise and get out of here. Run down here and run over to the restaurant where Lidmilla is patiently sitting. You can throw an emetic mine at the ceiling to get a wall bang on her, but if you don't have the loadout space for that, you can just crouch behind this bush then shoot a seeker shot at her. Now go get whatever disguise you need for the kill on her. You see there's a waiter and a resort staff in here and all the other disguises are pretty close. Crouch along here and knock out this lady then knock out Ludmilla. If the guard is guarding the door, he won't let you go in but it's okay. You have the staff key so you can just go into the men's bathroom then open the door into the women's. This room that you isolate Ludmilla in by the way is a soundproof room if the door is closed and the lady is knocked out. Then you would most likely be taking this exit. Oop. I mean this one lol. Next is the double seeker strap. Seeker Steven then run over here and seeker Ludmilla, then run up behind her bodyguard and give Emma wallop. Then knock out Ludmilla. This is a good strat for Ludmilla drowning or for razor kills. In this example I do allowed pistol elimination but don't think that makes this room soundproof. It is not. I'm just lucky with the timing. If I did this, for instance, from suit start I would not be able to do that. Anyway. So I knock her out this time then run over and knock out Steven. The main thing to know is you have very little wiggle room with this strategy. If you shoot her too late, she goes into Portman's bathroom which is a lot more painful for you. Now default start. Default is a very good start if you need a live kill on Steven. First thing you do is run forward, crouch, then shoot two bullets to lock down Ludmilla. Then follow behind her then knock her out order a live suit kill. Remember to grab the key. Next is Villa Start. Most people know this one but just in case you don't, what you do is vault up here, then run up these stairs and into this room. Grab the golf club, wait for the door to close then knock out this guard. Grab the gun and drop it there, and then drag the guard behind here. Hide behind the door and wait for the guard to start walking over to the gun then knock him out then Tyson. Two targets remaining. Full server lore sucks ass, but if it meets all of these qualifications, then it is optimal. Ludmilla and Steven disguise conditions are mansion disguises no remote kills. There are zero or one live kills. No loud gun eliminations. No drowning kills. No consumed poison for Ludmilla. If you want to know how to do it, I'll link the buff guy's video on Haven with the timestamp. Anyway. That is what I would call the more beginner-friendly isolations. There are faster isolations, particularly involving Ludmilla lockdown. If you want to know how to do that, that section is after this section, this section being how to get the disguises. Now this may look like a lot, but if you really think about it, we've already gone over how to get the suit, bodyguard, personal trainer, resort guard, villa guard and villa staff disguises. But let's go over how to get all the other disguises using the isolations we previously went over. Here's how to get the lifeguard. Hey, okay. 
Yeah, immediately box his body because of wall hacks. Next, how to get the snorkel instructor. After calling Humila, grab the iron then run over here. Throw it right here against this stack of kayaks. Hey, that rhymes. Then he'll be sent to investigate. Then subdue him because if you KO by some other means, then he might spaz out and fly into the air. Next, the doctor. Run over here then shoot open this trapdoor. Turn on this TV then run back and throw the fire extinguisher at the doctor then subdue the resort staff member. Grab the doctor's disguise and that's it. Pretty sure you don't have to box their bodies. Next is a quick resort staff. Spawn Jim. Run over here and subdue this guy then drag his body so it won't be found. You can also do this from pull start. If you need to do the disguise from default start, here's how to do that. After knocking out Ludmilla, shoot a shot at this window then knock out the male resort staff member then the female one. Two targets remaining. Now for the waiter. Now I recommend getting the wandering waiter because he'll be on your way, but there is also the waiter I showed earlier in the restaurant. Now his cycle is pretty short and there's around a 50% chance you'll just happen upon him when he's hanging out in this little section of the map. If he is, just KO him and bag him. But what if you just miss him? Well, do not worry my friend because even all the way over here, if you bump him he'll just return back to the aforementioned section. If he has started his animation, then don't bump him, it'll just make the grab take longer. You can see that he just walks over there then turns around suddenly. It makes no sense but you can run around in the bushes to get him to investigate then get his disguise. If you don't make the timing, then again, the cycle is short, so just wait. Next is the masseuse. Just grab this apple then throw it here, then loop around and knock him out. The chef is also easy. Run over here, turn on the ice machine, hide behind the door, KO, box, then run, run, run away. Next grab is the boat captain. Now for this. A lot of people do banana and coin lure, but it's way too finicky for me so most spins I recommend just seekering him and leaving a banana or just waiting till he gets down and manually KOing him. This is good in tandem with calling Ludmilla, because then you get the disguises right next to each other and while you're waiting for Ludmilla to walk down, you have enough time to get the boat captain. But if you're not doing that and going for him before you isolate Tyson, then you're probably not going to have enough time to get him in Ludmilla's room since he leaves at 4.40. So, you need to do an alternate mansion entrance. And here's that entrance. Run over here, shoot this camera, then shoot this camera, preferably in a faster pace than I managed here. Vault over this wall, the crouch along this stair then around these two ladies. Now for this, you're going to need a key, probably Ludmilla's, or a lockpick so keep that in mind. Grab the soda can because why not then open this door to peekaboo Tyson's guard. A year ago I consistently peekabooed Tyson into here but that hasn't been working lately but no matter. Since Tyson's guard is investigating the peekaboo, he won't investigate the throne distraction for Tyson. Turning on the TV is also useful. You'll need to practice this isolation a couple times and you can see that I haven't even really gotten it to work smoothly. Next is the non-server lure tech crew grab. Spawn mansion staff, then run along here and vault because that doesn't get the lady to call you out for gymnastics. Then grab the propane tank and knock out this tech crew person, dragging him over here where he won't get found. The top layer of the mansion is off limits for some reason for tech crew even though there is one working on his jacuzzi. Guess she gets special powers. Shoot the ceiling here, more left than I did. This wish I get is because I shot too right. Run into this room, grab the key, then run over here and grab the pearl, then open the door, throwing it to get this guard to investigate. Knock out the guard, then knock out Tyson's bodyguard, then Tyson. Tyson Williams eliminated. Next is how to get the gas suit or the folding knife. Now to get this is a huge delay so it's recommended you co all the other targets by now. From the vault point, you can run over here and grab this emetic plant. 
If you have the key card from Spawning Villa or if you've brought a scrambler, there is a key card swiper right there which opens up a secret ladder, but if you don't have that, have no fear. Here's how to get down. This tech crew is proxy triggered to exit when you come by so crouch in the corner then run up behind him and subdue him. Make sure to grab his key card and then drag him over here and change disguises. Then drag him into the cabinet. Run down these stairs then poison the air conditioning. Turn off the air conditioning then run over and grab the crowbar if you need to get the folding knife. After that, run down here and grab the gas suit disguise right here. If you need the folding knife, it's in this locker here. Now for the advanced isolations, mainly Ludmilla lockdown strats. Yes, I once again am spreading the good word of locking down your targets in roulette. If you don't consider yourself to be an amazing technical roulette player, then maybe don't skip this section and move on to the special haven kill conditions that require special strategies or just skip to the example spin. Or maybe even close the video, but don't do it without liking it first. I won't be hurt if you close the video, but know that this section has strategies that are just a little bit more complicated so watch at your digression. Are they out? Good. Let's get on with it then. So the first gym strat is Jim Ludmilla lockdown. Now to do this, the first thing you're going to do is throw an emetic mine at Steven then run over here. Now this shot is somewhat precise but in a couple attempts it'll become intuitive. Press yourself against the wall and make sure that you can see the bush in your camera. Then shoot to the right of Ludmilla at around waist height. Then jump over the railing onto the stairs, and press yourself against the railing so you don't get spotted by the camera. Then run over here and vault up onto the balcony, run into the bathroom, grab the fire extinguisher then chuck it at the guard who will always be facing away from you. Run over and grab his disguise, shooting a distraction shot at this cabinet. Grab the fire extinguisher again and knock out the cleaning lady then the other resort staff. Then you can knock out Ludmilla. Make sure to grab the keys. This is crucial. I forget so often so again, grab the keys. This strat gives you access to three disguises in one location right off the bat, which is quite nice and can be altered to fit with other disguise grabs. From there, do what you already know but this time, shoot right here then open the door with the keys you have, then knock out Tyson's bodyguard then Tyson. This is the fastest consistent isolation possible for both targets that I know of and since you still have time waiting for Tyson, you can get other disguises within that time because disguises are pretty free in this map. It's 30 seconds faster than double seekering, there's more breathing room because you can also knock out Ludmilla and her guard after the lockdown ends meaning that a lot of live kills are possible with lockdown strats. The room you knock her out in is a soundproof room, free for remote explosion kills or loud kills. You can also lock her down from pool start if you need to and I'll show that later but unfortunately if you do that, then you won't get her bodyguard to follow here into her lockdown place, making you need to do an alternative knockout for Ludmilla. Now what happens if you don't shoot where I said to shoot? Well, to demonstrate... Here are two possible outcomes. You'll see here, I shot around head height. This caused Ludmilla to lock down where I did not want her to. You see here, I get the crosshairs hit animation because I shot Ludmilla's guard. This causes Ludmilla to lock down without her guard. Now if you get this, you can still save it by knocking Ludmilla out like this. Hope you didn't need the guard disguise or some special live kill. You can still knock out the resort staff, so next we have alternate grabs using lockdown strategy timing. So after doing Jim Ludmilla lockdown, run down here and knock out this lifeguard, placing his body in the cabinet. Then go into the bathroom, here I use the trapdoor but it is safer to use the balcony vault. Then wait for the lockdown to end and throw something here. The guard will investigate this and then you can knock out the guard then Ludmilla. You can hear that she glitches out and says the doctor lines which I find amusing. Speaking of the devil, the doctor. 
And for those who have played Haven a lot, get ready to be either bemused or amazed. So after isolating Ludmilla, grab the iron then run out this door and down these stairs. You then throw the iron over here which gets the doctor to investigate. You can then just KO his body right there and it will not be found and it will also not drown from what I've tested. The water underneath the doctor's hut just behaves like dry ground. If you're KOing his body somewhere else, make sure that you drag his body towards the end of the hut and make sure you don't KO him too close to the front of the hut because then someone will surely spot you. Ludmilla live kill in the hut. Now of most spins, it'll be better to call Ludmilla for live kills, but some you can get away with doing in the hut. Knock out her bodyguard then grab the apple. Change disguises, shoot the cabinet, knock out her and then him, but this time, throw the apple on her. Get whatever disguise you need then run behind her for the live kill. You can do loud elimination kills here. Now I said earlier that full server lore sucks ass, but there is also something that has been developed communally by the, well, community which I refer to as the Tyson server law. This lore should be used when you need the gas suit disguise if it fits these conditions. Ludmilla and Steven are already KO'd so no mansion disguise live kills. No loud kills on Tyson. This is how you do it. So you see I have killed both Ludmilla and Steven. Vault over here, but instead of going up the stairs, go over here to get the emetic flower. Then shoot a shot here and run over here to this door. This tech crew is proxy triggered to exit when you come by so crouch in the corner then run up behind him and subdue him. Make sure to grab his keycard and then drag him over here and change disguises. Then drag him into the cabinet. Run down these stairs then poison the air conditioning. Turn off the air conditioning then run over and grab the crowbar if you need to get the folding knife. After that, Run down here and grab the gas suit disguise right here. Then pull all the servers out, causing a server meltdown that sends Tyson down. Remember to shoot the camera recording box. Then run up these stairs and switch your disguises to the disguise you need to get Tyson with which you stashed right here. Run up these stairs and open this door with your keycard. Grab one of the guns then drop it right here. Then run back through the door and place your pistol right here if you need to get Tyson with a live kill. Otherwise you can just KO him as soon as he starts walking down the stairs. Tyson will see the gun then report it to his bodyguard who will go to pick it up. Tyson then will spot your pistol and go to report it, turning around for the live kill. If you're going to be in the spin for much longer, you're going to need to drag his body to the corner of the secret office near the gun rack. Shoot a distraction for this guard right here, but don't shoot it as upward as I did because that might send him upstairs. Don't KO him if you're going to be in the spin for much longer. Grab your gas suit for whatever kill you need next and that's how to get the gas suit or folding knife with a Tyson only server isolation. Next we're going to go over some of the special kill methods for Ludmilla, Steven, and Tyson. First is Ludmilla falling object. Now I recommend getting the disguise you need for the Ludmilla kill before calling her for this spin because it is a live falling object kill. The route she takes to get to the restaurant after calling her coincidentally takes her under some coconuts so we're going to exploit that. Now there is this wandering guard who might get caught in the crossfires so we're going to drop a Bartoli for him here so there's not risk of a non-target kill. Next, run down over here into the bushes and shoot the shot. You can also do falling object if you do full server lure using one of the loudspeakers and she slowly walks right underneath a hanging planter. Next is Ludmilla consumed poison. Spawn at the restaurant then immediately run over here and turn on the ice machine. Then run over to make the dish. Make sure to crouch while making the dish because for some reason it is an illegal action. This is why you need to distract that chef. Next, poison the dish then run over here and knock out this chef. Then, wait for Chef Rampart's phone call with Ludmilla. After the phone call turn on the ice machine again to distract Chef Rampart and knock him out. This is necessary because if you don't, he will test out the dish and die of the poisoning instead of Ludmilla. You can see here that she dies at around the 4 minute mark. Oh my word. 
chef. Oh. Oh. Ah. Good work, 47. Ludmila Vitrova has been permanently retired. Next is Steven's special kill conditions, and the first one is the many, many ways to get a Steven full kill. Now one way is server lure and dumping him off the balcony. Another is you could possible leg shot him when he's in water, but the waterfall kills are inconsistent and you'd then either need to wait forever for him to get to his private island or would have to knock out the snorkel instructor and get his keys. Either way, not that fun so this is the easiest way instead. Spawn Jim then grab this weight. Then run into this room and crouch behind this bench and knock out the lady. Then you're going to wait until this black man goes into the room and then KO him, also dumping his body. Then open the door and shoot two shots here to lock Steven down. Knock out Steven's guard then knock out Steven. You can just leave their bodies here though you might want to drag them so they don't get found when you open the door. When you finally do the full kill, Look out for the two guards below you because I think they might be able to spot you. But this isolation takes one and a half minutes and that's valuable time you could be spending isolating Ludmilla or getting disguises so here is how to do a quick Steven full kill iso. Spawn Jim again but this time subdue this staff member then drag his body. You could also subdue him from his right which lines up his body so you don't need to drag it. Then grab the weight and throw it over here to distract Steven's guard. Then knock out Steven here and drag his body into the center area. Make sure that the door closes and they're both no visible from that little window. You can leave them here forever and then get the full kill whenever. This setup takes 45 seconds, half the time of the previous. You can also do this isolation from suit by doing the coolest KO in the game knocking out the resort staff through the curtain with a briefcase in full view of everyone. The rest is the same. Next is Steven falling object. Now again, if you do serve a lure you can get this kill using the speakers. You can also coin lure him over to the coconuts, but that's finicky and his guard often sees so I find this a lot easier. First thing you do is throw a distraction over here for the lifeguard lady. Run over here avoiding the camera, and run through the bush to get the guard to investigate. Run through the door into the staff area and when the guard starts walking over to investigate, drop a snail and run over to the lady. Subdue her here then wait till the 45 second mark to shoot a lockdown shot at this specific column here. Then shoot the camera. Wait in the bushes as he and his guard run down then lock onto the guard and co him with the coconut. Then run through and KO Steven. The male lifeguard is super blind to all of this. Then you can drag Steven's body through the bushes here and when you need to, you can drag his body to these leaves here and drop the coconuts on him. Two targets remaining. Next is Tyson loud kills. So you've knocked out Tyson and his guard, great. Now if you look at the gun the bodyguard drops, it's a loud SMG. Now run over and open this door and KO this guard. If you look at the gun he drops, it's a loud assault rifle. Then you should have picked up either Ludmilla or Steven's bodyguards as guns, which are loud pistols. To get the actual kill on Tyson, since you've knocked out the cinema guard and Tyson and his bodyguard, you can shoot Tyson through the door with any of the three guns. That's all we need to do from here. Paul should be able to extract information. You can also get a loud explosives kill here. Drag Tyson here next to the drawers and then run to the other side of the wall and drop an explosives. Knock out the cinema guard again and then you can explode the explosive without anyone hearing. Thank you, William. Eliminated. Excellent work, 47. Now you can also do the Tyson fall kill remotely. This is courtesy of Agent 420. Fix the sauna by knocking out the lady then using the screwdriver on it. Then place a micro explosive here and when you have the disguise you need, just explode the micro and it'll get a full kill on Tyson. Be warned that he only soaks in the tub for a couple minutes and it takes a while for him to even get in it so the window is relatively short. The final way is if you do Tyson room isolation on Tyson, you can drag his body over here, looking out for the cleaning ladies' cycles, 
then drop him off this balcony. The last special kill method is Tyson Falling Object. You can again use the loudspeakers in the underground server room, but it's better to do Sauna Lure for the Tyson Falling Object kill. Here's how to do it courtesy of Roulette Tech, a channel maintained by that observer. Do the sauna lure again but this time throw an explosive duck onto this chandelier, then fix the sauna if you plan to do the kill remotely. If you don't, you can shoot the chandelier from these locations. And remember that he does not soak forever. Anyway, that's it in terms of special kill methods. Now on to the example spin. And for this spin, we have a spin that Red Fox asked how to do in the Fro T7 Discord server. Link in the description. So for the spin we have Tyson Williams injected poison resort staff. Stephen Bradley with a falling object as the personal trainer and lastly Lyudmila Vetrova with an accident explosion as the villa guard. So this is an obvious gym start so I'm going to start there. First, I grab a weight then subdue this resort staff for the disguise later. Next, I throw the weight over her to distract the lady, then run in the bushes to distract this guard. I drop a snail for the guards then run over her to subdue the lady. I then lock down Steven, shoot the camera, then knock out Steven's guard then Steven. I drag the body over to the coconuts then shoot it. Then I run back to the gym to get the resort staff. I run down here then realize that I can't go through there in this disguise so run through the spa to get to the mansion. I then triple shot these guards then run up the stairs, peekabooing Tyson's guard. I then slip behind him, getting the poke on Tyson. I grab the keys then run over and get my stash, opening up this door to KO this guard. I drag this guard over here, then grab his disguise then run down the stairs to get the propane. I then run over to the restaurant where Lyudmila should be around now, then get the drive by on Lyudmila. Then I exit. Good work. Anyway, I know this might not have been super followable, but I hope that if you play around with the strategies shown in this video you'll start to pick it up intuitively. I hope you also learned a couple things about Haven and maybe understand why I don't hate it. I put a whole lot of time into this, having edited the video twice over and filmed and re-filmed and re-filmed footage so please give it a like. Subscribe for something else in the future, I don't know. I'm hoping it's not Haven related because I have like 15 videos on this map and I only have 39 videos out currently. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye.